सो हेलो गाइज वेलकम टू माई यूट्यूब चैनल्स हम एक और वीडियो आप लोग के लिए लेकर के आए हैं बहुत ही बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट वीडियोज हैं इसमें मैं उस इंटरव्यू का क्लिप डाल दूंगा जिसमें जावा एक फीचर से रिलेटेड और कुछ अदर टेक्नोलॉजीज जो भी कि स्प्रिंग स्प्रिंग बुट के क्वेश्चन जो होते हैं इंटरव्यू में वो सारी चीजें इसमें मेंशन है और बहुत ही दमदार इंटरव्यू है वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट सो प्लीज गो एंड वॉच दिस वीडियो अंटिल एंड अगर आप इस वीडियो को देखते हो पूरा सो so डेफिनेटली आपको कुछ आइडिया मिलेगा कि आपको इंटरव्यू के लिए प्रिपरेशन कैसे करना है कैसे कोर जावा से क्वेश्चन पूछी जाती है कैसे एडवांस जावा से कैसे स्प्रिंग बुट से कैसे डेटा बेस से ईच एंड एवरीथिंग यू गट आइडिया अबाउट इट एंड आई होप इट्स अ वेरी वेरी हेल्पफुल सो प्लीज गो एंड वॉच वन मोर थिंग्स आई एम कमिंग विथ जावा एट फीचर्स वेरी सुन आफ्टर डैट आई एम गोइंग टू क्रिएट माई कंटेंट ऑन अन अकेडमी विच इज अ पैड कोर्स कंटेंट एंड दे विल बी लाइक कोर जावा विथ लॉजिकल क्वेश्चन सो हु हैवर इज इंटरेस्टेड प्लीज गो एंड ज्वाइन दोज कोर्स डेफिनेटली इट्स वेरी वेरी हेल्पफुल फॉर यू एंड यू कैन इंजॉय ए लॉट थैंक यू सो मच प्लीज कीप कंटिन्यू वॉचिंग दिस वीडियो माई क्लिप ना थैंक्स माई नेम इज प्रिंस कुमार आई एम फ्रॉम Bhopal currently I am staying in Hyderabad I have completed my graduation from RGPB University Bhopal then after I joined a techno identity solution and I am doing work as a software engineers I am doing work on like a spring a spring boot micro services technology in this uh, uh, company and then after I joined a uh, Overlays and in Overlays I am doing work as a java developer in back end side I am helping like uh, 50 plus clients we are giving continuous support to them and then after whatever the internal development is going on so i'm helping on those and uh, we are fixing a bug and so on those product so those are the my role and responsibility in my current project yeah that's all about me okay shall we start from the core java concept yeah okay what is the advantage of oops Uh, oops stand for like object oriented programming language it's a one of the technique so through that technique uh, we can uh, make our project is very reusability so we can consider like reusability and dynamics binding and so many more like advantage of this uh, uh, oops concept like he provided the features called uh, uh encapsulation inheritance uh, polymorphism abstractions so through that we can achieve so many features and we can uh, apply those features and we can make our big project on that and it's a very very secure language java yeah okay what is the difference between method override and overriding in overloading method overloading means uh, in the one class having a multiple method with the same name and uh, different different parameters and order of the type and methods then we can consider those method as a method overloading and uh, method overriding means uh, the two classes having a relation between like a childs and parents and uh, parent class having a some method which is same overriding into the child class with the same signature that uh, then we can say like uh, this particular method is uh, method overrided so we can consider those uh, method overriding okay when can you use abstract and interface okay so like uh, interface is basically uh, Uh, you can say like uh, in uh, java polymorphism um, multi inheritance is not possible with uh, going with the classes but going with the interface we can achieve it so for example that place we can say the benefits of the interface another way we can say in the interface we can only declare the method we can't define the method inside this but java 1.8 onwards we can write a default method and a static method inside this interface 
and uh, coming to the abstract class so abstract class is behaving like a abstract classes only but uh, having a difference between like in the abstract class we can uh, define the method and declare the method also so both is the possible way but uh, if you think about the multiple inheritance then if you go with the abstract class then it is not possible so some cases uh, might be based on the huge cases or situation we can select particular abstract class or particular interface so for my thoughts we can say like uh, when we have to give some library to the some particular users or some particular implemented classes then we can go with the abstract class but if you want to give the 100% rules and guidelines or uh, try to override the rules or uh, try to force the particular implemented classes to override this technique then we can go with the interface okay what is the need of collection <clears throat> yeah col collection is basically it's a uh, building of the data structures so like uh, as a java developers uh, in the java technology having a only some integer type of the classes or wrapper type of the classes some variables which is not supporting the object type of the data so for that uh, he tried to build it the data structure concept inside the um, our java so for that he provide the collection api so through that collections we can achieve whatever the data structure functionality we have for example you want uh, array list linked list vector uh, you want graph tree whatever so he will given the bunch of the classes which uh, we can use and we can utilize it and uh, easily we can store our data and we can do the operations on our data so it's become very easy and uh, developer will not put lots of the effort to implement the data structure concept from the scratch level he will just go to the data structure concept based on the particular implemented classes and he can take those classes and he can use it easily so he provide the something like easiness or uh, the accurate well well proved classes which is uh, very useful for the maintain the data and provide the operations on the data okay what is the fail fast and fail safe okay so fail fast and fail safe is nothing but it's a helping to the like exception handling so for example we are doing some work and which is going on and in the middle of that we are getting some exception so fail fast means like he will terminate that time only and he will revert all those things whatever the as of now happen for example we are inserting data into the database 100 we have a 100 data 15 data is inserted and 15 is remaining not inserted so what it will do is like if any exception is occurred at 25 so 20 like uh, 55 or something so if exception is occurred it will revert all those data whatever the already inserted those are the roll back it will do revert it but if you go go with the like um, fail uh, safe then what will happen is like even the exception is happen or something issue is occurred it will not uh, stop the doing the work it, it will skip those particular insertion and it will continue remaining part of the executions so those are the differences between the fail fast and fail safe Okay, what is the use of iterator and list iterator? Okay, so iterator is basically it's a use for for the collections. So whatever the collections we have, we have a collections of the data, and we want to perform, <laughs> perform the operations on that. So for that, we can go through that, and we can. Uh, like uh, iterate the collections and we can perform some particular operations on that so for example we can say um, the iterator will be do the operations on some particular uh, classes and uh, the operation is called uh, he will do the like uh, um he will iterate the collections and that time he can perform 
ऑपडेट और एड ऑपरेशन नो नो एड ऑपरेशन ओनली बट इफ यू गो विद लिस्ट इटरेटर सो वी कैन परफॉर्म लाइक एड डिलीट ऑपडेट ऑल दो ऑपरेशन ऑन डेट टाइम ओनली वेल इटरेशन टाइम ओनली सो दो ज्यादा डिफरेंसेस वी है can we start tell me about your current project yeah my current project is uh, yeah my current project is uh, like uh, overlays product so basically what we are doing is like we have a module called data governance data data quality data quality rules and data governance data catalog so we are basically what we are doing is whatever the data having a client having a data so we are pulling all those metadata and we are storing inside this our uh, product and uh, the client will provide the rules and regulations through the tags and terms and he will provide some governance rules we are providing some data quality so that he can analyze those data he can um, who can access who can preview who can have a right to edit the data so like that operation he can perform on those data and he can analyze also those data and based on that he can build the future business for that so for that uh, we have built the product like overlays and it's a very very important right now for the like uh, analyzing the data and do the top of the operations on the data and based on those data we can build our own business for the for analyzing the data so those are the my project okay what is the difference between hash map and link hash map okay so hash map is basically uh like uh, it will store the value as a key value pairs and uh, uh whatever the value we have inserted inside this so he will not store key as a duplicate he will store one key as a null and uh, object will be duplicate no issue and uh, what will happen a uh, link uh, hash map is something like uh, it is storing the data as a linked so like whatever the behavior have, uh, behavior we have a linked list so it will uh, preserve the insertion order and uh, based on that he will insert the data inside this but if you go with the like uh, Uh, has map it will not store the insertion order it will store the data in the randomly and uh, we can't uh, give the guarantee like he will store the data as a um, insertion orders but in the link list a uh, link has map we can say he will give the guarantee to store the data in the uh, insertion orders so those are the differences okay okay prince i am going to uh... give us some question can we please check in chat box yeah yeah i got the questions hmm. okay so find the first non repeated string character in a string input is the space and uh, non repeated character is t output is t can i so open this is my clips i will put it here and uh, find the first non repeated character in a string so my string is a stress s t r e w l s so if i see the s s is repeated here if i see the t t is not repeated so we can display the t right so for that i can write one main method 
and uh, in min method i can say string is equal to this uh, stress okay and then after uh, finding those i can write one for loop in i equal to zero i less than s dot length and i plus plus yeah so i will take one characters s and i will compare with all those remaining characters and i will check it is repeated or not so for that i have to take one more loop in j equal to j equal to i plus one and then j less than equal to s dot length and j plus plus okay and uh, i want to check it is uh, equal or not so for that i can check with the if if uh, s dot caret of i equal to equal to s dot caret of j so if it is equal i will declare one variables here boolean status equal to false and here i will make it status equal to true if it is repeated and i will break the loop and uh, same thing i have to do for each and every character so every time iterating a characters i have to give here false okay and uh, while coming to the first loop second loop is it is completed then i will check like if my status is true then i will make it false i will not print and uh, if it is true if it is true if it is false then i will make it true and i will print here is dot caret of i is the character which is not repeated and here also i can break it and uh, i will run my coding questions so can i run it yeah yeah of course okay Yeah, so our output is T. Okay, good. Sorry. Okay, good. I give you one more question. Okay. java 8 feature do you know java 8 feature yes i know please check in chat room are you going to say it yeah okay Find it. Java it program to count a string whose length is greater than three in the list. Okay, so this is the question. Yeah. Okay. So for that, uh, I will create one more class. 
and uh, I will give the class name is uh, test eight. And this is my questions. Java eight program to count a string whose length is greater than three in the list. So this is the list. Okay. So first I need to create main method. In main method, I want to make a list of string. And I will give list equal to list dot has list. So first I want to import the list. So list dot list dot of we have a method. So in this method I can put my all those value okay Sync. So this is my list and I want to find out count of a string whose length is greater than three. So for that I can use list dot stream. Once I convert the streams, I will filter the string which length is greater than that. So for that, I can use the filter dot filter which is predicate and I will iterate one one string and uh, e dot uh, e dot length, I will check e dot length is greater than three if it is three then i will use the count function so here i got the count and then after semicolon and i will initialize this value in one long variables and finally i will print it the count so if i see here java is greater than three the so one two and three so our output is maybe three. I will run this code. So three. Yeah, like that we can do. Yeah. Good. What is profile and use of it in a Spring Boot? Yeah, profile is something like uh, if you, you are using uh, your project into the multiple environment like uh, dev environment, QA environment, testing environment or some other environment or production environment, then that time we have to create a multiple profile. Multiple profile is nothing but uh, creating a multiple application dot properties file so can separately we can give the configurations credentials of the database and some basic requirement of the configurations in this configuration file and we can use it independently of the environment 
so for that we are creating a profiles and uh, based on the environment we can activate our profile and we can use it so for that we are creating a profiles in our project mm -hmm. how we can read application properties file value in our class sorry how we can read application properties file value in our class okay so while reading a application dot properties file value in our class uh, we can uh, use the one annotation called value so in a spring boot having a one annotation at the rate value and in value application dot properties file we are giving a uh, data like a key value pair so those key whatever the key value we have to read in our class so going to the our class and we can create one variable in top of the variables we can uh, annotate at the rate value and uh, inside this parenthesis uh, we can pass dollar and curly break uh, curly brackets double quote and uh, we can give our key so based on those key we can read the data from the uh, a spring boot application dot properties file mm -hmm. what yeah. in an actuator in a spring boot actuator yeah yeah actuator is something like uh, if you want to like we have created a multiple uh, http endpoint and uh, we need to know about the health of, health like what is the health of those uh, particular endpoints it's up or down it's working properly or not so for that we can use the actuator so actuator we can use and we can know the information about our api like how it's working how many requests and response are going and coming those all those things we can worry about or know about through that uh, actuator endpoint okay what is the global exception handler okay global exception handler uh, like uh, we are creating a one global exception which is basically for uh, whenever we are throwing exception in our classes and which is not handled so we have created one global exception so entire the project uh, whatever whatever the exception is through we can handle through that so simply we are creating one controller uh, as a like uh, global exception handler or uh, we can annotate those uh, controller as a uh advice controllers so that uh advice got controllers so whenever uh, we throw the exception it will come to inside this and uh, inside these controllers we can create a multiple method and multiple method is nothing but different different type of the exception we can handle through those methods so for example we need to handle the io exception or input output exception so what de depend on the type uh, we are uh, handle the exception inside this and we are uh, uh, not uh, like terminating our project we are just uh, printing those log and uh, just uh, printing in the console so that our application will uh, not uh, terminate and it will run okay types of join in java join in java yeah types of join in java no i don't know okay what is difference between procedure and function yeah procedure and functions like uh, uh, in plsql we are creating a procedure and function to do the some particular operations so procedure means like uh, it will uh, take the value as a input and it will return the value as a output also but uh, function will uh, like uh, it uh, should have to return the value so those are the difference we have so function uh, like function is a mandatory to return a value but procedure is uh, optional to return the value okay 
those are the differences otherwise same way we are creating a function and procedure also only we have to change the key like uh, create procedure create function okay brains i have done from my side